need to have our morning chat. Yesterday we were talking about how we fully at 245 billion. You know, that amount is just ridiculous. Mm. Someone told me that the problem needs to be looked at critically. Majority of those people, the vast majority are men. And it's true. You go to any bank, 90% of women who take loans repay them on time. More than 90. Women save. Ata kukiwa na COVID or no COVID, your wife has got money. We don't Kenyan men have a saving culture? Mm, it's very simple. Hmm. We were bewitched. <laughs> you were bewitched by who? To Leroy. Why is it a Kenyan man cannot save? Kwanza na hii economy. What? No, don't use the economy as an excuse. Women are still saving. Na hii corona. They don't use corona. Okay, na hii COVID. Ni ngumu. No, it's not ngumu. How come your women are doing it? Sasa ukikatwa kila kitu, unakatwa, unakatwa, unakatwa. Kwenye, ile imebaki, ule inavurudwa hapa. Goja, when you wear she's working, kwenye ya alipangi tax. Na ajakatwa mshahara, juu ya COVID. Haa. Uh, women, women wa uchukua. Uchukua nini from KRA? From CC. Oh my God, stop that. Ojua manume pesa ikinge hivi inakuwaka already. Eh? Inangojewa hivi. Hmm? Himeenda huku, himeenda ushagu, himeenda mpesa. Do you know if, you, if, if, if your family faces an emergency now, touch wood that doesn't happen, mm. your wife will chuck 500,000 shillings you never do she had. Mm, because ya kuna mtu anamutisha pesa pesa yake ni yake no? Ay, kuna pressure no kuna pressure well, how come women can save and men don't what is it Ay, kuna pressure. don't say pressure what pressure na sasa kama pesa ituli kunza in today's, in today's world it's women who pay the rent they pay the school fees yeah, because so what are you saying they have the money. No way. How come they've got the money? You don't have the money. You know, as a Kenyan yeah. man, first of all, pesa ikifika inafikaka ina dunda dunda hivi. Hakuna kudunda dunda. What is kudunda dunda hivi? Inadunda ina bounce bounce. <laughs> Kabla hata ujue ni nini mefanyika. Isha atoka. Can you see this indiscipline? Huh? Amongst Kenyan men. Hey. Let's uchotewe mahali. Let me ask mm. you ladies. Since COVID came, how mm. much has your man borrowed from you? Why is it that Kenyan men cannot save at all? We try. Where do you live beyond your means? Ebu, give me a call on 0711 because I don't get it. Me, I met a group of I met a group of ladies yesterday yeah. and they were saying even throughout COVID, yeah. they were saving fifteen to forty thousand a month. Saving women. Women. Mm. Yeah. And their breadwinners in their homes. Mm. At the same time, when No, you tell one. me, because it's a Kenyan man problem. Do, do, let me ni... ask you, do Kenyan men ever think an emergency mm. could happen tomorrow? Do you ever think of that? Nae mungu yuko hapa. <laughs> mungu ni nani? Anatushikiliaga. Ima aga hii adwa ya. Anatushikiliaga. Ibu give me a call. 0711-046105 is my number. Talk to me. Wacha ngwambie shida inakuwaga hapi. Unaekelea hapa kidogo. Kwa ni, kwa ni women live on another planet. They don't live here in this economy. They don't risk. Hawaekeleagi. <laughs> In fact, I'm just going to mention your tweet right now. Eh? How can someone save when he's got 10 girlfriends? Very good. 0711 is my number. Drop me a voice note on 0703-346-105. Hit me up on my fan page on Facebook. My Twitter handles are open for business. Why is it that Kenyan men can't save? Do you ever think an emergency could happen tomorrow? How is your wife still saving and paying off her loans in a COVID year? And you're not. Seriously. That we are bewitched. Are you listening to the excuses? Ati kashida kanatoke anga. Kashida kagani. 
ati pesa ikija ina dunda dunda what is that Hebu yeah, e give me your call at 0711046105 and let's try and tattoo this thing Kenyan men ebu call and tell me Cause it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. We Yesterday we were talking about how Kenyans are fully at 245 billion. Someone told me, our problem is our men. Cause Kenyan men can't save. They cannot save to save their lives. You will find a Kenyan man earning a million bob a month. He didn't even have a hundred thousand shillings in the bank after a year it is it is possible you don't see you've got a problem with the responsibilities and all these koso koso na wa mali amekelea biashara unajua kuna wana muwekelea have i ever told you story yangu na butchery eh yo you owe the butchery eh hey, kuna wakati eh hey. million opportunity eh hey. hey. eh hey. hey. nikaona watu wanapita sana hapa hivi dono hey. kuna gorofa mingi hey. na butchery ndio hii imefungu hapa panaweza ingia butchery hapa eh hey. nikachukua savings yangu hu, yote eh hey. kaambiwa nikaadvisewa na wajua unaadvisewa wa na rafiki kaambiwa <laughs> hey. hapa hey. anza na mguu mguu ya ngombe hey. na mbuzi tatu hey. eh na hapo nje ni eketu nyanya hey. you know ndio wachukue wachanganye hey. eh yeah. na traffic kweli unaona inapita hapo Yeah? Ukona runda atoga. Nika nini nikaweka mpaka ka TV nikaweka kitu ya kupima. Yeah? Nikaandika buji mtu akukata hizo nyama vizuri mimi ni wahesabu pesa. <laughs> We nani anakuambia hatukuweka sherehe after three days? Nyama ilikuwa inaozea hapo. <laughs> no no scabby. Hai hakuna mtu ananuna. <laughs> Tulianza na ngia mbaya. <laughs> Tulieka sherehe. Tunaambia tu. Mukafanya party watu wakuje wakule tu. Ni nyama ya bure, kuje ni nyama hapa kuna kuna sherehe. You see you men. We we don't think before you invest and that's your problem. We sijaiungua hivyo. We. Seriously. Nyata is innocent. Good morning. You say ni kubaya too much responsibilities when women don't have by the in today's world women pay rent they're the ones who pay school fees they're the ones who lend you money hey where kelvin mong you're saying how can someone who takes all responsibilities be left with something to save are you telling me kenyan men that you're all walking around millions of you on these streets with zero shillings in your bank account na sindio na kwambi ujo mungu ni mkubwa anatukalisha like birds <laughs> like lily of the valley <laughs> Martin Karobi said man who told you we came here on earth to save we came to spend and enjoy the beauty of god's creation <laughs> by the way, how we survive is a miracle Aki. i don't know how we survive you know you all need to check yourselves cuz anything could happen tomorrow this is a threat sir no i'm not threatening you it's a reality of life wacha mungu afanye kazi yake wacha mungu you think mungu unafikiri utafuliza upate mungu amekutumia 1100 wacha mungu aitwe mungu me this i'm preparedness of these people i don't know hello maina tiri ya goma eh ati rodi ya goma kwa nini these women eh ukipata pesa eh ya kwa unalipa nyumba ati unalipa nyumba nani yeye ama wewe mimi eh anaestimate ni kutima mama yake pesa eh tumia kwangu mm kina mama yangu eh ni nipe school fees eh ni mpe exam ya getape eh ni kuna visa wangu nataka kunywa kitu ya demand eh ni kuna gogo tatu eh nataka nisee unini bwana sasa we won't see the mali from the things you have just told me So let me ask you. Ask. How much do you save in a month? Mimi. Eh. 50k. 50k. Yes. From an income of how much? 250. 250. Yes. So you actually save 50,000 bob. How much you spend it all? Some of the gain of that 20 cent after shilling bana. Ati? Yes, yes, you can Eh bado ikadi na mabeso na niita na na kunywa kidogo natumia tano ama 10 to by the end of the month na pata sina kitu niko negative ai 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 hata amejaribu ai asante sana be give up on you hello
Good morning, Naima. Morning. Uh, sometimes me kusikiza pressure inapanda my brother. <laughs> Kwa nini? Naima. Hey, wakati when you marry you have you have kids and a uh, wife eh uh. utajua shida ni tunapitia my brother me, like me i have several dogs you've got several what dogs dogs i have to make sure umbo zangu zimekuwa nzuri eh compound yangu ni clean eh nyumbani mama ako sawa chakula iko kila kitu eh so sometimes maina mimi nikikosa food ya dogi i go crazy you know yeah. because i value my dogs more than anything and so sometimes how, 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 cash, how much do you mama ko, <coughs> eh. how, how much atin ati hauna hiyo cash na mama i'm not getting you but unasema mm-hmm. sometimes hauna pesa ya kulisha umbwa na mama ako na nini Hako na pesa lakini pesa yake wewe ziona hata shilingi like recently I was shocked ameniambia oh see I feel like eating KFC nikamwambia I don't have money akaniambia nitakutumia no nitalipa na nini so kufika huko si umejua amelipa direct na paybill hmm. so lazima kutumie ile screenshot I was shocked the balance ako nayo kwa mpesa ni hata mimi sina you know I didn't believe it and your dogs are suffering ni German Shepherd <laughs> yeah ni German Shepherd yeah, I, I have all I have German Shepherd I have Rottweiler I have uh, uh, Spitz my dogs actually don't suffer because afadhali nilale njana wa kule maina yeah because like my dogs eating 8 8k a week so you can imagine your dogs eat 8000 a week yes is on Rottweiler and let me ask you a question hmm. just ask me how much do you save per month I don't save <laughs> are you a yes, breeder are you a breeder I'm not a breeder You I'm just, just you, you just love dogs. Not just dogs, animals generally. So uko na ngapi Rottweiler na German Shepherd? Oh, uh, I have several in total I have 15 dogs. 15. <laughs> One home, yes. In Mombasa I have five. In Nairobi I have three. So in total I think I've, I'm feeding more than 20 something dogs. <laughs> They are all yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very so, much. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah so maina sometimes don't judge us man we go through a lot actually yeah okay yeah because the kids must go to school uh, the wife she must eat and look pretty you know but still they don't appreciate that you know me i look like a chokora but you see my kids you won't believe it by the way all my family abroad yeah but they live well they go to good schools yeah okay and so hata ukini judge na chokora my kids are going to good school they're living a good life i don't care and your dogs dog eat well your dogs eat well yeah yes okay I value that. you can hear them actually they are here barking you want to say hi yeah yeah you need german <laughs> shepherd okay. uh, no this 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 bit now yeah you can okay leo come and say hi yeah 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 yeah, here. yeah. you can hear a cow there here okay say hi, say hi. fine stop now Yeah. Hey, wow. Okay. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh-huh. So, bro, don't spare ke po de pole. Okay. Yeah? Sawa. Mimi nimekusikia mpaka pressure imepanda straight away. Okay. okay. <laughs> Asante. Dire ke gwele di what kind of priorities are those? By the way, we need to talk about who you na Tony Kitusa. Eh? Ukisikia mtu anapenda umbo, ako na 25. And he's not a breeder. What kind of priorities are those? That's a very important priority maina. Uh, he loves ladies, have you listened to those men? He, he loves his hey, dogs. Hey, Ebu come here, ladies. But he can sell them. When a man can't save. I can't get over the previous caller. He spends 8000 shillings a week on dog feed. What the hell are they eating? Kempinski lunch or what? Seriously. I understand that guy. Listen to this one. I understand that guy. What is wrong? Women save and they've saved through 2020 by the way. Covid or no covid, women save. Why is it that Kenyan men don't have the saving culture? You venture so you say good morning. So now our wives will let us save, slay queens are all over, the boy child side chicks pizza all day uta save sangapi 
Monique Kim just said it's not that our men can't save. They spend most of their money drinking alcohol. And that's what they need to stop. I know. The, the way they reason is just crazy. Pretty together, you can't get over the last call as well. You're saying per week, 8K feeding dogs and saving nothing. Nimeshangana uyu mwana ume mimi. How about men? The lifestyle you're living of, of being in the clubs daily, drinking and having excuse all over. Until robbing yourself through this, that's what Jennifer Kanyeri is asking. Also remember nowadays women don't depend totally on men. They're working or doing business. Watch any excuses. It is incredible the excuses I'm hearing this morning. And you've had them for yourself. And then, ladies, they tell you, I'm the man of the house. Iguagoma. Be submissive. They keep us on telling you that Hannah Atta in. Hey, you guys play too much. Hello. Hello, Maina. Good morning. Morning to you. Maina, in the scale conversation, yeah. Eh. Uh, let me tell you, like, uh, for example, uh, there's no, it's very hard for a guy to save. How is it hard for you to save when your women are able to save? Listen, uh, for example, I'm earning a salary of 300k. Yeah. We can loan. We can loan your pesa ngapi? Yeah, about 150,000. Repayment, repayment is how much? And you know, I pay like 150. You pay half your salary to a loan? Yes. Yeah. So, the remaining 150, I have a kid who is going to an international school. Huh. And monthly, it's around sixty thousand or somewhere around sixty thousand. Huh. Expenses. Yes, that, no, those are that's for school fees. So out of three hundred, now you're left with ninety thousand. Yes. Uh huh. So ninety thousand. Ata kama waifa kukazi to send na lipa some bills. Hmm. The remaining bills, if you sell your car and you do something, you'll be left with 20,000 minor. Uh -huh. So, yeah, yeah, the house we are living, I'm at the, the place where I have my child in Nenda, yeah, yeah, wife, you go up, or Kwelia Mungo. Those are month bills. The school fees is month bills. Do you, do you pay rent? No, no, I don't pay rent. Who, you, stay in your, a house. you stay in your own house? Yes, the one I paid, the one I'm still paying for, the, the loan I'm telling you about. The okay, no, okay, so now no, let me ask you. Yes. The 20,000 you're left with, where does it go? Exactly, you have a mother who's in shags, and a god there, you have a friend who's stuck somewhere, and an owner of Kiango and Yomoka, and a part of 300k, so Simon, Yaje, my brother, Nitumie Kitu, actually you don't save anything, you don't save. Hakuna Kitu in a back you save. Me, I understand you. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. That day makes sense. Hello. Good morning. You're well? Yes, I'm way well. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. No. Mm. Ebu kwanza rekebisha uyo uyo rafiki yetu hapo mwambie not everyone fuliza mimi sijawahi fuliza You hujawahi Sorry at you hujawahi fuliza Sijawahi fuliza and actually utakuta mzee wangu he's always in debt Yeah I have three kids I'm married Yeah I'm hustling to stand with my family with the three kids I pay the house I pay school fees Na visha watoto wangu actually wakati mwingine na ficha aibu na nunua kitu na wambia mmenunuliwa na baba yenu. Yeah. So there is a big problem. I think my what you need to do is yeah. a mentorship program. We have a big problem. You find men hata wakifanyiwa dawari wanataka mke alipe dawari yake. Uh, yeah. Which is a big root problem. So I think you need to look into the problem, the root problem. Yeah. Solve it from there. We lack mentorship from men, older men, who are know me how to be men. Yeah. Because actually, we mama nowadays, this wa, uh, ladies is like we are the men in the house. Yeah. Which is wrong. Which is very 
very wrong. Kama mimi nitasomesha yeah. watoto wangu na sako, I've invested in sako. Yeah. I have savings. Yeah. Na usipopatia if you don't give your husband money, anakufuria mwezi mzima. Yeah. Na hii already nimetoka kwenda kuhasu. Yeah. Umemuacha amelala. What kind of men do we have? Umemuacha amelala saa hii? Yes. Karibu saa tatu wa subui. Yes. Na nitarudi usiku, I'm the one who is expected to cook and do whatever the wifely duties. Alafu tell me what kind of men we have. So, wanaume waache kulala, wafunzi wa adabu na the older we, the older men, it's yeah. a big problem. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. My god, what kind of a lifestyle is that? This is insane. And Kenyan men, you gotta do something. Invest in yourself. Can't just go around investing spams all over the place. Those are discussion though. What a morning it's been. And it's something we never even talked about. Martin Karubi, you'd like to salami your sister Rose Karubi. Uh, Akiwa Ken on Gong Road. She's always tuned in. Thank you so much. Ruby's on Gong Road. Thank you very much. She's your financial advisor and business partner. Well done. Thank you so much, Rose, for holding Martin's hand. So why can't Kenyan men save? What is it that they find a problem with? Throughout COVID-19, women were saving each and every month. They were advancing their finances. The guys just stood there and there oh if you're too incredible have the final word huh hello good morning morning yeah okay uh, this is what i want to say i yeah. had that lady who just called and talked about how the husband is lazy yeah at home. she has to go and hustle yeah i've been in the same relationship also yeah and, uh, when I entered the relationship, I didn't notice that uh, weakness in the guy. Yeah. But then I think after a while, when he noticed that I'm easy in doing things and giving up money here and there. Yeah. He decided to fold his hands and waited for me to do everything. Yeah. And when I fail to do something, he will get so mad at me. Yeah. Really mad that he will not talk, he will not talk to me for days. Yeah. So his money, I don't know where he used to take his money. And yeah. I could not even ask him for any small favor. He always refused and always wanted me to use my money. Yeah. So I noticed that and I decided also, I'm going to fold my hands and wait. Yeah. So that waiting has brought friction in our relationship for two good years. Yeah. And it's because he's upset I'm not doing things that he was expecting me to do. Yeah. And I am also waiting for him to do some small little things for me here and there. Yeah. I have very good savings. He doesn't have savings. Yeah. And I was willing to settle with him and do things together, you know, like build a house, do all these things. Yeah. So we parted a few months ago. Yeah. And he was brave enough to tell me, I didn't see your money. I asked you to buy me a car you refused. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you the truth. You have not done A, B, C, D. So I've got nothing to do with you. We parted ways like that. Oh my God! So he didn't value me. He valued what I could bring on the table. Yeah. And I'm telling you the truth, Mina. He burned a bridge that he will never rebuild with anyone else. Because if he was a nice guy to me, I didn't care what he was earning. <clears throat> yeah. As a woman, I came to help him. I could have done a lot. We could have done a lot together if he was a nice guy. But his motive was not what I thought it was in the beginning. So I really want you, Maina, to ask these guys to wake up, not to depend on women. It's so shameful for a guy to tell a woman, I was expecting you to do this for me. Now that you didn't do, it's over between us. Wow. These guys need to be taught a lesson, Maina. They should wake up, especially these Kenyan guys, they should wake up. They should wake up. Wow. And we women are so smart. They need to know. I need this guy to know. He will not get out there. He will not go out there and get another lady who's going to do what I did for him. If that is what he's expecting, there's somebody out there waiting for him to dish money out to him. He build him a house to buy him a car. Yeah. And we are talking of a guy 40 plus. We are not talking about 26 or 27 years oh old. Oh my God. Yeah. He will never settle. And I'm telling you, my Nakama is a bitch. 
Yeah. I'm telling you where this guy is with all that I did, the sacrifice I did for the five years, he's going to cry. He's, he's going to look back and say, I really burned that bridge and I can't build it back again. Wow. Okay. Yes. This right. man should wake up. Okay. And I'm telling you, Maina, I had very good savings. I was waiting for him. I was waiting for him to show me attention. I was waiting for him to love. You know, like acting like a man around a woman. Yeah. He lost it completely. Completely that he will just get harsh on me. He will talk rudely to me and still expect me to put things on the table to buy him a car. I got him a nice phone. Whenever we had any friction, the first thing he did was to delete me from his phone and block me. Wow. What kind of a man is that? Is that a child or, 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 or a man? How can you block someone that because you had a friction, you block them? Wow. And then if you ask him, why did you block me? I can't reach you. Like, do I need to have your contact? Why should I have your contact in my phone? Those are the kind of, oh man, this guy, man. Ah. Wow. It's, yeah. it's, at least you got away. Yes, I am away. Really far away. And I really don't want to even come anywhere close to any kind of man who acts like a child. All right. But it, after all, I think I, I just went for therapy and the, my therapist was telling me that was the nicest. It was. Because for the five good years, this man has given me extreme silent treatment. Yeah. Terrible silent treatment. Mina, and I think one, I just beg you one time to come and bring a topic of silent treatment. This thing is going to kill women in this country. Silent. A man going quiet on you for two weeks, one month, and they don't even dare look for you and say anything. They wait for you to go back and say sorry for something that you didn't do wrong. You know what? I'm going to raise that topic on Monday. Please do. Silent treatment is really bad. It almost made me go crazy. If I didn't go for therapy, I think I could have been dead by now or gone crazy myself. Okay, thanks for sharing your story with me. Eh? Thank you, Maina. Have a great weekend. Eh? You too. Bye. Oh my God. I shall say it again here. Kenyan women deserve a head of state commendation. Each and every one of them.